Iron Dog charged for woman's murder. The St. James Police have charged 24-year-old Adrian Campbell, otherwise called Iron Dog, of Red Ground Montpelier in the parish with the murder of a woman at her home in the same community on Wednesday, September 23rd. The deceased woman has been identified as 38-year-old Venetta Brown of Red Ground in the parish. Reports are that about 7.15 p.m., Campbell allegedly kicked open Brown's door and opened gunfire, hitting her to the upper body. He then fled the area on foot, but was held by the police a few hours later at his home and was charged with murder on Tuesday, September 29th. A date for his appearance in court is being finalized by the police. Lucky woman survives burglary after leaving bedroom window open. A 13-year-old male of Port Antonio, Portland, has been charged with breaches of the Larceny Act. The minor has been charged with burglary and larceny stemming from an incident which occurred on Wednesday, September 30th. Reports are that about 12 a.m., a woman left her bedroom window open and went to bed. About 4 a.m., she woke up and realized that her rose gold iPhone 6 cell phone was missing. She then realized that her side bedroom window mesh had been cut out and reported the matter to the police. As luck would have it, the teen was subsequently arrested for another crime and when a knapsack that he had in his possession was searched, the complainant's rose gold iPhone 6 cell phone was found by the police. A date for the minor's appearance in court is being finalized by the police. Police investigate suspected drowning in Bull Bay, St. Andrew. 63-year-old Basil Ellis, a retiree of Copacabana in 8 Miles Bull Bay, St. Andrew, is suspected to have drowned at the Little Copa Beach in the parish on Wednesday. The police report that about 11.20 a.m., a passerby saw the body and alerted them. On their arrival, his body was seen lying on the shore. It was processed and removed to the morgue for a post-mortem examination to be conducted. St. Anne Plummer pulls gun on farmer over woman. The St. Anne police have arrested and charged 33-year-old Christopher Watson, otherwise called Max, a plumber of Philadelphia District in Brownstown, St. Anne, with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, and discharge of firearm within 40 feet of public space, following an incident in his community on Friday, September 25th. Reports are that about 6 p.m., Watson and a farmer had a dispute over a woman, during which he left and returned with a firearm. Watson then fired several shots in the air at the man's gate, then left. The matter was reported to the police and an investigation launched. Watson was subsequently arrested and charged on Tuesday, September 29th. His court date is being finalized. Phone thief caught red-handed. A man who is believed to be a regular phone thief in the downtown area of Montego Bay, St. James, was nabbed on Tuesday afternoon, September 29th, when he grabbed the phone from a female who was standing in line at the Montego Bay No. 1 post office. It is also alleged that he went to a banking area on St. James Street earlier in the day and grabbed a woman's phone and ran to the upper section of St. James Street. One of the victims identified him sitting in a bar and alerted the police who arrested him. The man is believed to be from Kingston. In regional news, serial rapist charged with sexually assaulting teen and throwing her off a cliff. 48-year-old chef Aldwin Stewart appeared before the Port of Spain magistrate yesterday in connection with several reports of sexual assault, attempted murder, and larceny along the North Coast Road, Maracas. One of his alleged victims, a 17-year-old girl, was thrown over a cliff after being beaten and raped. The chef was charged with 19 offenses, including false imprisonment, rape, and serious indecency. According to police, the teen was a man's latest victim. She was allegedly attacked on September 7th after responding to a Facebook advertisement about a job. Police said she allegedly met the accused at KFC in Karep to hand over documents. The teen was offered a lift into Port of Spain by the accused to meet her mother.
Instead, she told the police she was taken to a secluded area off the North Coast Main Road where she was beaten with a cutlass, sexually assaulted and robbed. The teen said she was then thrown over a cliff along the road. With the help of passers-by, she was taken to the Maracas Bay Police Station where WPC Care took charge of the case. An all-points bulletin was put out for the vehicle and on September 12th, Officers on mobile patrol along the North Coast Road spotted the vehicle and intercepted it, rescuing a suspected victim who was seated inside. The suspect, however, attempted to elude the police officers by jumping over a cliff. He was caught for medical treatment and placed on an identification parade after being discharged. He was positively identified by several victims, including the 17-year-old. All the victims claim they met up in Kirep before they were allegedly taken to areas in North and West Trinidad where they were assaulted. Guyanese man gets three years for sex with a dead COVID positive woman. The 50 year old unemployed man who confessed to having sex with the corpse of a 56 year old woman at the Port Katuma Hospital mortuary was on Wednesday sentenced to three years imprisonment. On Tuesday, Leroy Chacon appeared via the Zoom online platform before Magistrate Delon Bess at the Matthews Ridge Magistrate's Court. He had confessed to the crime and was remanded in prison pending sentencing. When Chacon reappeared in court on Wednesday, Magistrate Bess handed down the sentence. The Guyana Chronicle had reported that the woman who had tested positive for COVID-19 died on September 21, 2020. She was a farmer of 14 miles, Arakaka Northwest District. Reports indicated that the suspect was seen in the mortuary on September 26, committing the offense, and police were immediately summoned. He was subsequently arrested and placed in a facility for quarantine under police guard. There are now 111 reported COVID-19 deaths in Jamaica. Four more people have died from COVID-19 as the death toll keeps rising daily in Jamaica. The total number of deaths is now 111. 73 new cases were confirmed yesterday, bringing that total to 6,555. There were 124 recoveries. Of the people made ill by COVID-19, 127 are in hospital, 30 of those are moderately ill and 17 critically ill.